Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Sim City. I am Bone Canoe 86 and I can't wait to get started here. I've been waiting for this for quite a while now. I've been a long time uh, Sim City player all the way back to the days of uh, Sim City 2000. And I'm uh, you know, I'm playing this game for the first time. Going to come at it with an open mind and see what there is to be seen. Um I was not in any of the uh, betas, so I don't really exactly know what's going to happen, but I have watched enough videos, and I do have enough SimCity experience that I think I should be okay. Now this region, the region of Funky Babs, is, um, I forget the name of this, it's like Viridian something, Viridian, Viridian Hills, Viridian um, Forest, something along those lines, and it is a... Uh, multiplayer um, region that I am doing with my friend Dwyron. Right now as I'm recording this, he is off recording his own first episode over here in Wessex Bend. And I have decided to build here in the city of Tudor Isle. So let's get started. I'm going to claim that for myself. And all right, we're going to jump right in. Oh man, I am pretty darn excited. It's been almost 18 years since I first picked up SimCity 2000. It was a Christmas present for me back in 1995. From there I moved on to 3000, and then eventually 4, SimCity 4, and I've been uh, doing a lot of videos on that, but... Ooh, Heroes and Villains set. I'm sure that is something to check out in the future. All right, okay, can we slow it to slow speed? All right, sounds good. Well, it looks like we have a nice city. First thing I'm noticing is that the, uh, you know, going this way and that seems to be the opposite of what it is in other games I've played. For example, the Sims game, for some reason, you press left and it goes around to the right. Or maybe it's the other way around, but uh, just something a little bit to get used to. All right, so this menu is pretty much looks to me to be similar to anything that any uh, Sims or SimCity player should recognize right off the bat. All right, and I have had a dire warning not to overbuild the roads. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I don't think I'm going to be using that road too much. Alright. Oh, why thank you. Yes, by the way, I have bought the uh, Deluxe set, so I have German sets. Yes, and I have French sets. Yes, thank you very much for reminding me. I'm happy. Alright. Oh, th uh. okay, I am very... Glad that you appreciate my purchases, but can I just play the game now? Thank you. All right. We are going to start off with something simple. I mean, once I get more into the game, maybe I'll get more fancy with the curves and such. But you know, for the beginning, this isn't too um, isn't too bad. All right. Draw a residential zone. And. I gotta say, this is already quite different than uh, the other Sim Cities I've played. All right, sounds looks good. Industrial zone. Well, the wind's blowing out of the city. Don't want to build too much industry because I think um, we are planning on having industrial cities in the future. But. Build that here, and look, people are already stomach start coming in. All right, power. Hmm. Let's see. Three megawatts, seventy-five megawatts. Well, as much as I would like to be environmentally friendly and such, um. I am thinking that we are going to have to build some coal power plants here, at least to start. 
All right. I hope no one minds too much living near it. All right. I am really hurting for money already. Closed. Oh, crap. Closed. Now hiring. All right. Oh, hold on. Okay. So I can... Yep, it's the same uh, shortcuts as The Sims. Believe it or not, for the speed. I built the power lines. Come on. You can do it. You can be powered. I believe in you. Medium density streets. So, one thing I like is how you can snap roads to the grid like this. So we're just going to build a few grids, build ourselves some residences, and uh, we're just going to try to keep things nice and basic here. I don't want to uh, do anything all that overwhelming. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm having trouble with the money already. One difference between this game and the other versions of SimCity, to my understanding, you do not actually pick the uh, density. You merely, um, the size of your roads actually determines what density you have. So the roads I've selected here, what I am building will never be anything larger than medium density. Which is alright with me. Okay. We're going to zone some commercial along here as well. I guess the blue line is the uh, extent of it. Maybe I should have left a little bit more room in the back, but I'm sure it's okay. Alright. So I could get high density if I do that, but like I said, not too concerned with getting high density now. Just getting the basics down. Budget problems. Turn off services, raise taxes, or zone RCI. Well, if I learned anything from my previous SimCity experience, the best way to get out of these Jams is to zone your way out. Alright, at what point does this start to encroach on that? I don't know. So let's be a little cautious. Alright, we're just going to do that for now. Alright, so... Let's press play. Go to slow speed. You want to learn how to buy water from neighboring city. Bankrupt in six hours. Well, not so fast. I think we can uh, rely on people to move in. Zone residential and have zero more houses. That's helpful. Helpful information right there. All right, come on, guys. I probably shouldn't... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with the water yet. I'm waiting for uh, my residential to come in. And as you can see, our population is slowly uh, building up. Alright, I don't want to mess with the loans if I don't have to. This number is getting smaller, or bigger. Well, it's getting close to zero in any case. And I am just going to use the hope and pray method that we uh, get to uh, where we want to go. Alright. Hey, we're making money once again. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I know it's not perfect yet, but um, we're getting there. Alright. So... Let's just uh, continue with our roads. And once again, well not once again, I haven't showed this yet, but you can pretty much do whatever you want with the roads. Like if I wanted, I could make an arc. I could make a, uh, basically a uh, freeform curve if I wanted. 
could make a circle. Or I could make, what is this? I could just make a square, I guess. So these are all things that I can make, but like I might have said, I am uh, building things. Oh, and my friend uh, Dwyron is sending me a message ask, inquiring if I've built anything. All right, so I can reply to him by pressing what button again? Oh, it disappeared too quick. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. La la la. I can do that. And chat. Yes. I'm building. Re I'm building residential and such. Almost ran out of money, but zone my way out. Let's see if he responds to that. Go away. All right. Um. Oh, press shift F1. Okay. And that gets rid of that. Okay, good. Well, everything seems to be uh, in order here. Are you actually able to view my uh, buildings? Looked in on yours. Saw nothing. Probably lag. Haven't checked yet. I'll try now. All right, shift F1. Get rid of that. Workers commuting to West expands business. That's Byron City. Oh. I need water. I think I can afford it now. All right. We're going to toss down a water pump where we have water, obviously. Actually, we're going to wait until we get enough money. Or I think I need to wait one more hour. That's something I kind of find weird about this game is that time is organized into hours rather than, uh, you know, dates and years, which I thought would be more logical. Alright, here we go. And there goes the water. Oh yes, everybody is getting satisfied. Ooh, petition to build town hall. I would like to build a town hall. So where are the civic buildings? Um, yes, we're all kind of learning this together here. Town Hall, we are going to put you, whoa, you're, you're a big guy. Put you down right there. All right, now everyone's happy. Congratulations. Mayor, your hard work has paid off. Now that you built up your town, give it a name. Okay. So instead of two-door aisle, um... We are going to call it... Ooh, Dwyron has arrived for a tour. Ooh. What should I call this town? I'm very tempted to call it something like Noobtropolis or something dumb like that, but I'm not going to call it something that dumb. I'm going to call it... Oh. I can't think of anything too clever. So I'm going to go for a line of sight name. Okay. There, I see Bala. So we are going to name it Bala. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm going to ask me, it's like, can you see my city so far? Air pollution levels rising. Well, I guess that's a consequence of, um, you know, power plant like that and apparently um, we're just going to build more residential because I think that um, my uh, people are commuting to uh, Dwyron City for work so I'm going to just zone what I have here and let's just zone the edge of this too. Zoning is free apparently in this game, which I guess makes sense because like all that really happens when you zone something is a bunch of bureaucrats are saying, okay, this is now a residential zone, you know. There's no reason that it needs to cost anything more than just a, you know, bureaucratic paper filing fee. All right. 
So the demand for residential is still very high, and so is the demand for industrial. I'm really curious how the bridges work in this game, but um, I'm kind of nervous to try one. Oh, yes, he can. Apparently, people are commuting to your city to work. All right, shift F1. Yes, keyboard shortcuts work better when you call them. Just like in some shows, people call their attacks. Works the same with keyboard shortcuts. Who would have thought, right? Not enough simoleons. Okay. Might want to check which way the wind is blowing for the coal power plant. Hee <laughs> hee. Yep, it's blowing out of the city. I did check it. So that is a very good thing that I have done. Hopefully, we're just going to continue zoning. And I wonder if I can look at data views. All right, commercial map, pollution, population map. Checking out five said building density, industrial tech, residential, industrial, wind map. All right, wind's blowing that way. How do I see the pollution though? Hmm. Oh, we have levels of wealth here, just like in the original, or what am I saying, in SimCity 4. Okay. I hope you forgive my uh, slight lack of uh, knowledge here. Okay, but yeah, I can't tell where the pollution, how much pollution there is. So, for now, we're just going to go on the uh, hope and pray method. And how do I get out of the, okay, there we go. Stuck in the wind mode. Yeah, being stuck in the wind mode really blew. Heh <laughs> ooh. First pun of the new video series. Oh, God. Come on, man. You're... So ooh, look at that. It's a sun setting. Actually, according to the time, the sun should be rising. Alright, we're just going to make that. I think I might have been slightly off with my placement. But that's all right. We are just going to zone. Zone right around this water pipe, hope, or water pump. Hopefully we're not going to have to expand it. <sighs> okay, I and I am really curious about how the bridge is going to be working. Or the bridges are going to be working, rather. But no reason to uh, jump into things just yet. Okay. All right, that's pretty straight up here. No reason we can't speed things along a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why they went to the hour system. I mean, maybe people are, you know, if they came over from The Sims, they would be more comfortable with it. But something tells me that wasn't the main. I don't know, I guess it's easier for some people to understand, but for me, you know, it's, it's weird to think that things are all happening in one long day. It kind of breaks the uh, suspension of disbelief, if you know what I mean. All right. We are going with the classic SimCity strategy of just zoning and zoning and not giving them any, uh, not giving them any, uh, see, can I destroy this little end? I don't want to do that. What am I saying? Not giving them any services until later on. So we are going to go for a arc road. We're going to have to wait a little bit for the money to come through. Sit here and let our uh, things grow. Kind of like this new uh, this new pinwheel over here. All right, here we go. I've been a good boy. I think I deserve a little curve. There we go. Yeah. This is the first SimCity game to, um, okay, that's kind of ugly. But, oh well. My friend Wyron, he's more of a perfectionist. He would not allow a curve that looks like that to be anywhere near his city. But me, 
I kind of like the uh, slightly uh, the slightly off look of certain things. It's just more fun that way, I find. Because, you know, most cities and towns in America and other countries are not perfect, you know. They have their quirks. All right. Oh. I don't want to build a curve. I want to build, to build that straight. Can I just do this? Not like that I can't. Well, I can, but don't want to. Too close to an existing intersection. Okay, I guess if I wanted to do that, I would have had to start from scratch with the uh, uh, road. So we're just going to go back to here. And I could even have concentric curves, which is kind of cool, but we're not going to zone that in right now because we're going to just keep push pushing out a residential. Oh, man. And for some reason, it's only snapping to that side. Now we got it. What am I saying? We got this thing. All right, so... Basically, in playing this game, at least for now, I'm under the philosophy of let's just take things simply one at a time and not overwhelm ourselves with um, too much craziness right away. Hmm. It's kind of ugly, but...